Howdy friendos, Crazy Jason here and welcome to my movie adventure. Woo! First one of 2014, baby. That's right. I uh, really like to start off the new year with a bang here at the end of March, 1st of April. And today I am hunting down The Wolf of Wall Street on Blu-ray. Just released today. Uh, my number one favorite film of 2013. I do have a bit of a conundrum though, as you may or may not know. There is a Target exclusive steelbook. Yes, um, you know, I'm not completely sold on the cover, so I need to go to Target and check that out. Uh, versus a uh, Best Buy exclusive with bonus disc. So basically we're looking at packaging versus content. Now content usually uh, overrides packaging for me, um, but I just did a little reading on the interwebs before hopping in the Crazy Mobile and um, have learned that the, uh, the bonus material may in fact be available for viewing online. So, I'm slightly leaning towards the Steelbook. Now, I have seen the UK Steelbook, and that thing is awesome. It's just awesome. You guys over in the UK get the best shit. I even ordered a Wolf of Wall Street t-shirt that I was going to wear special for this video. Um, but it didn't come in time, and I'm really disappointed about that. But I'm going to put the link uh, to the t-shirt that is en route to my torso. I'm gonna put the link down below so you guys can check it out. Uh, I've looked and looked and this is the absolute, in my opinion, uh, funniest and coolest design for a Wolf of Wall Street t-shirt out there. All right, so I have arrived at Target and let's go in and check out that steel book, shall we? Mm, I'm not sure about this. Uh, it's not exactly what I was expecting. Um, Leo looks like he's uh, less than a second from deep throating that microphone. Um, maybe it'll grow on me. So I, I don't. What I don't understand is why can't be. This is the DVD, and this is the the, uh, the actual. I believe this is the poster art, and I don't understand why the steel book can't just be that or be the design that the they have in the UK. And instead we get that, which is. Uh, I don't know, it just feels a little less than creative. Um, I have no idea what the back looks like, but uh, I was mistaken. I, I thought the steelbook was going to look like that, but uh, that's why you have to go out into the world, folks, and uh, take a look, see at things for yourself. Oh, here are a bunch of newish releases for $13, but uh, just fuck it, I can't. Sarah Evans song playing in the background and a um, busybody employee smoking me out because I'm in here filming. I'm gonna get the hell out of here and head to Best Buy. Alright, so out of uh, Target and I did decide to go ahead and pick up the uh, Target exclusive steel book. Let me get that glare off of there. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Leo deep throating that microphone real nice. I'm not sure about that. Um, but, you know, we'll go to Best Buy and see how their uh, packaging looks. Okay guys, out of Best Buy, and uh, I've decided to stick with my Target Steelbook edition of Wolf of Wall Street. Um, the, uh, the, the Best Buy exclusive, it doesn't say anywhere on the package. There's no indication. I thought it was quite lazy of Best Buy uh, 
In fact, if you're not careful, you'll pick up just the regular combo pack. So be warned. Um, it, it, nowhere on the, the, the slip cover or the Blu-ray does it say Best Buy exclusive. Only on the rack, only on the sticker underneath does it say which one is the uh, the Best Buy exclusive. So you need to be very careful. The both the same price. Um, now, as I understand it, a lot of new titles are going on sale next week. I, I believe seventeen ninety nine. Um, I'm not sure if that covers the Best Buy exclusive or just the regular combo pack, but it might be something worth looking into. I don't know. Anyway, you saw the uh, the spy cam footage. You saw they're having some sales on some decent titles that if you don't already have, I say go for it. I picked up a couple myself. Uh, they have a, a little uh, MGM 90th anniversary display. And I actually, there was about five movies I was gonna get, but I only got two. The first being A Bridge Too Far. Um, I'm a, I'm a war film buff, and right now I'm really into uh, World War II films, and uh, I have never seen this. That's a confession, yes. So guys, let me know uh, what you think of this movie, because I am eager to watch it, directed by Richard Attenborough. Um, now, the other one, I'm really excited about this. In fact, next to Wolf of Wall Street, this is, this is a pretty exciting find for me. Um, by the way, it's $6.00. I picked up Dirty Rotten Scoundrels with the uh, the 25th anniversary sticker. Uh, remind me someday I need to show you my Blu-ray sticker collection. That sounds really sad. Okay, so anyway, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. The thing is, when I was a kid, this is one of those movies that I watched over dozens and dozens of times. And every time I watched it, it just got funnier and funnier for me. Now, I never had it on DVD, so I'm really excited to see this. I think that's a cool cover. I like that cover, by the way. Um, they haven't really been doing good covers lately, but that's that's class. That's a classy cover. Um, I'm wanting to see if the things that I found funny from my childhood still hold up, like uh, Steve Martin's character, Ruprecht. So uh, I'm hoping this holds up um, in the comedy department. So that's it, guys. That's it. I'm out. I got the steel book, uh, Wolf of Wall Street, um, and when it comes down to it, features or limited a number of features, whatever, I'm just happy to have the movie. I'm just happy to have the actual Blu-ray disc with the movie on it, with presumably superior picture and audio reproduction. So uh, that'll do her. I'm Crazy Jason, and thanks for riding along with me on my movie as my face goes into complete darkness. Oh, God, what a sham. Okay, guys, I'll see you next time.